as we introduce the roots of agile development, some of the concepts and methodology. We are going to see some sample methods, and some of those will be covered in later sessions. Some of the methods we'll be covering in this session is ASD, the Adaptive Software Development, DSDM, Dynamic System Development Model, Scrum and XP, Extreme Programming. Those two, Scrum and XP, will have separate sessions. Crystal Methodologies, and FDD, Feature Driven Development. So let's start with ASD. You remember the life cycle methodology that we have seen from the waterfall all the way to now. In Agile, seems like a collection of plan, analysis, design, code, test, and deploy. PADCTD. All the methodologies will have some iteration of this life cycle. What's important to remember is that as you look at the different methodologies, how they do the planning and the analysis is what changes. But the Agile principles remain the same. In adaptive software development, is based on the collaboration of team members. This is not a surprise since it is one of the agile development core concepts. Trust is built in into the process. Adaptive adds constructive criticism, meaning provide some minimal, meaningful feedback to each other and don't take it personal. The intent is to improve the process, not to offend a person. The ASD life cycle has three phases, speculation, collaboration, and learning. So as we discuss this three, look at the life cycle as it applies to other methodologies. The adaptive software development is defined in the book by James Highsmith III. It was intended to build complex systems. And the loop that you see is going to be shown with different phases in the next few methodologies. So in the ASD, we have speculation, collaboration, learning, and then the release. For speculation, project kickoff. All the constraints are analyzed. The requirements are considered. And we define a release cycle. This should look very similar to the planning done in other methodologies. In collaboration, constructive criticism, assist without resentment. Hard work is key. Having the necessary skills also. Every developer is responsible for keeping the skills sharp. In today's environment, if you graduate with a degree in computer science or engineering information technology and you wait more than five years to use your skills or to upgrade your skills, they will be obsolete. So in the ASD, there is an emphasis on learning as new technologies and tools are available. Communicate with each other to, make, to take action that is effective. Finally, in the learning, we have focus groups where users, customers, provide feedback on what's being delivered. The idea is to ensure customer satisfaction. There are formal reviews. Formal because the team members review the completed module. The idea is to improve the quality and the satisfaction of the customer. Finally, there's the postmortem. This is a term used at the end of the project to evaluate how effective processes and procedures were. This is where the team looks back and says, if I had to do it over, what would I do to improve the process? What mistakes did I make? How can I prevent them? Notice, the idea is not to hide the mistake, but to tell other people, this is the mistake I made, this is what I learned, what do you think? Knowledge is passed through all the team members. If something goes wrong, the idea is to blame the process, not the